Greetings to all of you and welcome to Metro Deaf School. Come on in and have a look around. We are one of the oldest charter schools in our country and the oldest deaf charter school in the United States. Metro Deaf School opened its doors in 1993 as a charter school that serves the ages of two all the way up to the age of 21. Here we'll show you and explain to you our Montessori approach, which serves our students from the age of two and a half to six years old. Our Montessori approach is one where we have a structured environment and the students on their own can select work that they are interested in after the teacher determines that it is a good match and also matches up with our academic standards. Our elementary school houses pre-K all the way to fifth grade. And we focus obviously on learning through play, foundations of ASL for language development, which helps support their English development. Third through fifth grade focuses on our academic standards, which is reading, writing, and math, but we also provide flexible grouping where students can group according to their level. And that offers the teachers more focus with each student and each group. So reading, writing, science, and math, all grades have enrichment courses, health, PE, technology, and many other types of electives. Some of the myths are that we are a private school, but we do fall under the Minnesota Department of Education, which means we are a public schools. We follow the Minnesota school standards. We also provide state testing. Our middle school is grades six, seven, and eight. Of course, we have reading, writing, ASL, science, social studies, health, PE, and those happen year round. It helps to expand on our students' knowledge. We also provide electives classes that change throughout the year, every four weeks. They may experience photography, sewing, home economics, and other opportunities for social and growth and leadership for our students. We also offer a Battle of the Books competition that is hosted by Gallaudet University, where our students face off with many other deaf school and deaf programs after reading books. And then once they are able to face off with their opponents, they have the opportunity to head out to Gallaudet University to compete at a higher level. We offer drama and also student council. Here is our high school. We have our traditional classes such as chemistry, biology, math, all the way up through calculus. We have English, reading and writing, ASL, deaf studies, and many traditional classes. American history, world history, also our electives classes that we offer, our driver's education, art, technology, and under our technology, uh, we have several other uh, components that fall within that. Whichever our students' passion is, however they would like to thrive, is what we encourage for each of our students. We like to provide many social opportunities. We have our annual camp that happens in the fall at the opening of the year, which helps set the course for the year for those students that may be exchange students or may be new uh, to our school. We do have athletic programs. We have student council. We have academic bowl, where uh, each of our students will compete with other deaf schools and deaf programs. All of our students will experience community service work, which is about 50. are assisted with going off on their own and uh, looking for volunteer opportunities. And we would like for our students to understand how to give back and be a part of the community.
if our students are feeling that they may need more education beyond the age of 18, we have our Career and Transition Services Program, otherwise known as CAPS, and they're able to continue in that program until the age of 21. We also have a STEAM program, which is Science, Technology, Engineering, and Math, and all of our teachers in the school sign on to use that classroom. It, we also follow the state standards. However, we like to give each of our students that experience within our art component and art classes, which is uh, the Devia art program. either as direct or indirect services. Sometimes they will have uh, gross motor skills that they need more assistance with, and this team provides uh, school-wide assistance programs with all of our students. Spider. Spider. Here you will see our speech and language therapy. We have two of our therapists on staff, both of which are fluent in sign language, which is a fabulous addition which means our students are able to uh, sit with our speech and language, speech and language pathologist one-on-one, -on -one, or they can go into the classroom. Yes. She told him that he didn't need it because he was gonna start. We as ASL teachers help, of course, to teach our students one-on-one -on -one or with a small group. We also will join our courses or classes to help the students while in class. And we also offer classes uh, in the evening for our families and community members. We also provide breakfast services, snack services, hot lunch, and also uh, snacks for after school. Some are for purchase or students can bring their own snacks and meals if they would like. We also have a free and reduced lunch program if a family qualifies, which they are able to apply for. Our student life program is for our students that would like after school services, maybe tutoring with homework, being a part of a sports team, and many other types of activities that we bring individuals in from our community to come in and teach our students. One of the best for last that we save is obviously for our students to be able to hang out with their friends. That's the goal for student life. We have four individuals on staff, two of which are licensed social workers, and another who is an in-school counselor, and another psychologist. Our school psychologist is also a deaf individual and offers direct communication for all of our students. We also have a licensed teacher for the blind who assists our deaf-blind students in learning braille or different strategies and support tools or supplemental tools to help uh, with their learning. We also contract with an orientation and mobility specialist to provide those types of services for students that may have that documented on their IEP. Our library is one that we feel very fortunate uh, to have amongst us because our librarian works full time with us and helps our students with many different types of library standards. Thank you very much.